banger 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 we got ourselves a banger alert for today's video we are rocking out with lucario on the series 3 ladder have not seen this pokemon have not used them in series 3 yet today is going to be a first hopefully we can grab some wins with it or maybe even a winning record you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live but like i said we are rocking out with a lucario team that also features gyarados one of my all times favorite we got two of the legend ruins pokemon shen pao chi yu and we got two great support pokemon with mousehold and amoongus this one should be fun before we get started here with today's team preview, I also want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Pokeberm. Thank you so much for making this team, making it a rental code for everybody to use. Huge shout out to him. Link to his channel will be down in the description be below. But like I said, Lucario is one of those Pokemon that everybody loves, but nobody is using. So I think him paired up with Shen Pao can really get some damage done and can really be very strong on this rank ladder. Shen Pao is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Got the Swords of Ruin alongside with the Focus Ash, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Probably one of the best move sets and item sets for Shen Pao. Amoongus, our first support Pokemon and our second Pokemon for today's team preview with Regenerator and Citrus Berry. Rage Powder, Pollen Puff, Protect, Spore. Again, something you guys have seen plenty of times before. The start of the show is going to be in our third spot. We got Lucario, lovely steel and fighting type with an absolute amazing design. It's got inner focus, life orb as item, which I'm loving. We got extreme speed for first turn priority and the normal terror type, so we can terrestrialize into normal, get that E speed boosting damage with Shen Pao there. Can do crazy damage. You guys already seen that plenty of times with Dragonite. We also have Bullet Punch for first turn priority, Vacuum Wave, which is absolutely amazing. That might be first turn priority or it might just be 100% accuracy. I totally forget, it's one or the other, but it is a stab fighting move, which I really like. And then last but not least, we do have Protect. Mousehold is going to be our fourth Pokemon, and Mousehold is just another support Pokemon which can do damage at the same time, considering it has Population Bomb on it. It's got Friend Guard, the Choppleberry, Population Bomb, Follow Me, Protect, Helping Hand. I love Mousehold, I think it is a great support Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet rank battles. We got Chiyu in our fifth slot over here, and Chiyu is just like the only special attacker on the scene but he can pretty much solo teams like he's that strong he's perfectly fine and capable of doing big damage by himself and his beads of ruin the assault vest heat wave snarl terror blast which will change into grass and then dark pulse for its moveset final pokemon on today's team is gyarados and gyarados has been seeing a lot more usage on the rank ladder ever since series 3 started intimidate is getting stronger he's just lovely with his typing and he's just a great solid pokemon all around it's got Lumberry as item, Intimidate like we already mentioned, and then Waterfall, Dragon Dance, Ice Fang, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, let's grab some wins with this Life Orb Lucario Series 3 team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a no legendary team. Okay, I was expecting to see a legendary there, but no legendary. They got a bunch of Paradox Pokemon though, with the Fluttermane, the Iron Hands, and the Iron Bundle. Yeah, that's Iron Bundle. Okay. Yeah, an Iron Bundle alongside Obama Snow who can pair up with the Bundle, and then Mouse Hold and then Natalie combo. So, pretty strong team here. I could go into Lucario and Shen Pao turn one. I don't think that's too bad. We would rock Inner Focus with Lucario, so I kind of like that. And Lucario can get some work done on a few of these Pokemon, such as the, uh, that's just the fun, I mean. And the Mousehold, so I really do like that. You know what, I am going to go Lucario and Shin Pao. Get that Pokemon rocket out here in match number one. Um, I also do like Chi Yu here. I think Chi Yu is going to be pretty solid, plus its speed is rather fast. Let me see your speed real quick. 167, yeah, that's pretty fast. Outspeeds everybody but two of their Pokemon. And then, hmm, yeah, gotta bring Chi Yu. And then last but not least, who do I bring in here? Which Pokemans? I could go support side or I can just go Gyarados. Intimidate, it's eh. It's eh because Defiant is a thing. So I don't even know if I want to go into Gyarados. I feel like Gyarados doesn't do anything crazy. Mousehold could be that Pokemon with Friend Guard or I could just go into a lovely little Amoongus because Amoongus with Spores is always good. Hmm. I'm going to go Mousehold. No, I'm going to go Amoongus. I'm going to go Amoongus just in case like Fluttermane is there as a final Pokemon or even Annihilate. We could still hit it with like a Palm Puff. You know, because we just had mouse hold and we can't population bomb none of the ghost type. So they got two. There's no point in bringing it. Rather bring in the, the lovely little mushroom Pokemon. Match number one on its way. I was going to use a Roar Moon team today, but I, I ended up going with Lucario. I think Lucario is a bit cooler and you guys haven't seen Lucario on Series 3 yet. So I definitely chose that one over Roar Moon. But Roar Moon video should be coming out very, very soon. Should be doing that within this week. So stay tuned for that one. Stay tuned for that one. But they end up leading this combo this little combo right here so from here um hmm 
I could just vacuum wave this, right? And vacuum wave, it is first turn priority. So this thing should have like no speed, right? You should be like HP attack. Why would there be speed investments in this thing? Yeah, correct. HP attack. Cool. So all first turn priorities, which I'm really, really liking. I think I am just going to still vacuum wave. If you want to go into a uh, ghost type, that's fine. I'm just going to ice spin it on this slot though. That is exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to rip into this. Mousehold is just going to opt to protect. That's fine. Are you going to bulk up Annihilate? I am very curious to see what you're going to do here. Vacuum wave is going to get blocked. And a lot of... A lot of uh, mousehold terror types is ghost. So we're going to have to watch out for that maybe next turn. We got into an ice spinner. I think it's able to soak really, really well. And it gets off a bulk up, which I do not like. I do not like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. This defense is boosted. Um, He has leftovers, which is terrifying. Um, ch 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 I wish I had haze at this point, right? Haze would be really, really good for us. Hmm. I'm just going to start ripping into this Annihilate, right? Sucker Punch and doing all that good stuff. Uh, if you guys are following me, that's a problem. So I'm just going to stick with Ice Spinner instead of Sucker Punch. But I do think Mousehole might even Terrasalize this turn. It does not. So we're just ripping into this thing, doing as much damage as we can. And we get a big time crit. That's a big time crit from Lucario. It's a big time crit. No follow me. Can Ice Spinner KO? I think it might be able to. It does. That's huge. That is enormous. Hopefully he's going for a beat up into the Annihilate slot. That could be very, very good for us. He does. Woo! Baby, yo, Lucario coming in hot with that crit. We like that a lot. Now I might just go for the vacuum wave into the mouse hold. Iron Hand's gonna come out here. I think I just protect the uh the Shen Pao here, because we are in our focus, which is really, really good. And I'm just gonna go for the vacuum wave into the slot. But yeah, I'm gonna keep my focus ash here. I want my focus ash. Lucario's in our focus, which is great. Can't be faked out. Shen Pao's gonna protect so we can keep our focus ash. Plus, I think fake out goes in that slot anyway. And he opts to just protect the mouse hold. The mouse hold is just chilling here protecting. Okay, okay. I still have a Moogus. I could swap somebody for a Moogus, to be honest with you right now. I don't think a Moogus is too bad, because down goes Lucario. That kind of hurts. Surprised he didn't go for the fake out there. And, and a crit comes out, so that's two crits already. I think Lucario was dying to that anyway, considering Shen Pao's on the field. But from here, I could just bring out Chiyu. I mean, all physical attackers. Chiyu could be pretty good here. Or I could just go support with the Moogus. Which I kind of like. I kind of do like the support on the Moogus slot. Hmm. I do like a Moogus. I do like a Moogus here. So I'm going to go Moogus. Um, I could Rage Powder. I could just go for a Spore. And I think I'm going to go for the Spore. Into you. And I'm just going to start Ice or Sacred Sword in this thing down. Because I don't think you Terrasalize. I don't think this thing Terrasalizes. I really don't think the Mouse Hole Terrasalizes here. Maybe goes for a follow me, something along those lines. But if I can get off a Sacred Sword on that, that'd be awesome. And then if I can spore that Iron Hands, that'd be even better, right? So we're kind of hoping that a follow me just doesn't come out here. And we can just one-tap this thing. Follow me does come out here. So we're hoping we can one-tap because I don't, I really don't want to put the mouse hole to sleep, right? It'd be a problem. Sacred Sword's going to fly a KO, please. It does. That's big time KOs. That's big time KOs. Because I do have Focus Ash on Shen Pao. I think he just strain punches me. He does. Cool. I'm going to sash up. I'm going to put him to sleep, and that's kind of what I wanted there. That is kind of what I wanted, because I knew Shen Pao could survive. I don't think he has a first turn priority Pokemon in the back end. I guess we'll see. But we spore the Iron Hands, we're going to start getting cooking here. We're going to start cooking. I do still have Terra, which is really, really good for me. I do still have Terra, and Flutter Mane's going to come out here. Um, mm, is that booster energy? I'm definitely going to have to sucker punch that slot. It's not boost energy. You should be faster, but I still want to sucker punch regardless, right? I still want to sucker punch regardless. What's your speed? You should be faster than Flutter Mane, but I really don't want to risk it. You might Terrasize. I'm just going to put you to sleep. I'm just going to sleep this thing, and I'm just going to go for a uh, sucker punch here. I want to get off as much damage as I can and save my Terra for my, uh, for my Chiyu. This should be a great battle. I have a Soul Vest. I do have the Vest. This, this should be a close one, to be honest with you guys. So we'll see. Sucker Punch is going to fly. Big time damage coming out here. We like that. Shadow Ball goes into this slot. That's weird. What do you think I was protecting? You think I was protecting? I'm putting you to sleep. I'm putting you to sleep. Night, night. Night, night. Double Spore in here. I don't do that too often, but in this instance, I feel like I have to, right? We're looking to win this match. Um, From here... 
I guess I'll just start palm puffing you down, and I want to get off as much damage as I can into Iron Hands. I'm going to start teeing off onto it. Ice Spinner's going to fly, send it this way. Boop. Like I said, trying to get off as much damage as I can. Fluttermain is going to be slumped. Iron Hands might make, wake up here. Oh, it's still asleep. Thank the lord, yo. RNG galoot. Sleep's working on my side a little bit. Palm Puff's going to fly here. That really did that much damage? Okay, I wouldn't have done that in, the, in that case. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. Okay, it looks like we're just going to Rage Powder this shot then. I'll Rage Powder. I will... Sucker Punch? Who went first last turn? I should have paid attention to that. Did Shen Pao go before... Did Shen Pao go before the Flutter main? I think it did. So I'm just going to Ice Spinner this one. I'm just going to Ice Spinner. Because I don't want him going for like a Protect and Dodge into Sucker Punch. It'd just be a terrible, terrible move for us. So yeah, we do outspeed. I'm going to say bye-bye to Flutter main. We think or we know Iron Hand should wake up here. So we're going to redirect the shot over into the Moogus. No, that, oh wow. That, that's three turns. I feel sorry for this guy. I, I didn't mean to put him to sleep for this long. <laughs> I did not mean this. I didn't mean it. I swear. I swear. But we're just going to Rage Powder Ice Spinner out. I'm pretty sure they're going to cancel battle very soon. We still have Chiyu in the back end. This first match was solid. Solid all around. Solid all around. Amoongus definitely clutching up with the sleeps. Same thing with uh, Lucario getting some work done with his first turn priority moves. I'm loving it. But Thunder Punch flies over here. Amoongus is able to soak. And now from here, we pretty much can just KO with a... Uh, with the... What's it called? An Ice Spinner, right? Maybe not. Maybe not, but still Rage Powder going to be the play. You're going to cancel battle? Now would be the time to cancel battle because I still have Chiyu in the back end. They do not cancel battle. They they think that he has a shot here. They think that his Iron Hands has a shot here. He might die to this. I think he actually, actually can soak this. No, he doesn't. Night, night. GG. 1-0 to get this video started. That's how it's done. Let's hop through a second match. Look to go back to back. We're hopping into match number two, and I love Lucario in that first match. Gonna try to definitely get him out here again, but we are going up against a Ting Lu team, which isn't bad. My team's mostly physical attackers, so I really, really like this uh, this matchup. He also has Bax Calibur. They have Fluttermane, Amoogus, Arcanine. Ooh, I did not see Arcanine. Arcanine's gonna be a little bit of a problem, but Arcanine and Palafin. Lucario's gonna be a great lead here. It can dodge Intimidates. It can uh, get after a few Pokemon. Plus, I think its Terror type is, yeah, it's normal which is very solid for us. So it could just a uh, normal E speed. I could go into Shen Pao here, but I really do feel as Arcanine might be a lead. So I might just intimidate him back. I think Gyarados is a great lead here. We could honestly just go like intimidate Gyarados and someone else rather than Lucario and bring Lucario and Shen Pao in the back end. Maybe like a Chi Yu as a front lead. But do, do we think they're gonna bring King Lu? Maybe, I mean, it's a possibility. But I do like Gyarados here. I do like Gyarados. Hmm. I'm gonna go Lucario here. We got we got inner focus. I do like it. I do like it. Um hmm. We'll go Chiyu and Shen Pao in the back end. Yeah, no support Pokemon. No Amoongus, no Mouse even though Amoongus was clutch last battle. I just feel as we're better with just like a hyper offensive set up against these guys. I don't think Ting Lu comes out for him. Maybe it actually might considering it's pretty bulky on the defensive side, but it's more so used for like going up against special attackers. We'll see. I think Arcanine is going to be lead though. It's not. Palifin might swap into Arcanine. I could definitely see Palifin swap into Arcanine. So I could D dance here. I could definitely D dance. I definitely want to bullet punch into uh into what's it called though. Do I D-Dance here? Do I D-Dance here? I feel like D-Dance is definitely a play. Palfin should swap, so with this point, I should just do in that. They might swap into Arcanine, and at that point, we can just get a free plus one speed boost and get our attack stat back, and we will inner focus this. But I wonder what Fluttermane's gonna do here. I do wonder what Fluttermane is going to do. There's no way Palfin stays in here. It really gets no value. What's it gonna do? A few jet punches into maybe Lucario slot? But I'm hoping Fluttermane's terror type is just straight berry. So if it wants to terrestrialize, we're still going to be super effective onto it. And he opts to just withdraw. Okay, that's fine. Is that going to be Arcanine? It's got to be Arcanine, right? Amoongus! Amoongus comes out here. Okay, so double withdrawal here. This should be Arcanine. Unless you didn't bring the Arcanine. One of them's got to be Arky. There's Arky. Arcanine comes out here. He's going to intimidate me. I'm going to inner focus this. 
And we keep going from there. Bull punch gonna fly here. Do like no damage really. And we'll kinda go from there. Okay, I feel you. D dance coming out here. We're going back up to even on tack board, but plus one on speed, which is really good for us. Um Rage Powder might come out here, so I might just ice fang this. And that's Sack one window. I'm gonna ice fang and I might just protect you. I do have Terra Normal. Which could be really good for us, but yeah, I'm just gonna protect this Pokemon. Play it slow. Let's play it slow. I could see an Arcanine swap back, right? That could definitely be a thing, and then him, them going to potentially like Palafin or something. Could be a little bit of a problem, but I want to get off as much damage as I can onto this Moogus right here, right now. We're probably not going to KO with this Ice Fang, but we should do more than half and have a freeze chance, which could be awesome. Which I would love. I would love. Arcanine's going to opt to protect. He's putting somebody to sleep. Gyarados, I think you're going to sleep here, buddy. Kind of sucks. Hopefully he's going after Lucario, but Gyarados is definitely going to sleep, right? Gyarados, you're going to sleep. Give me a freeze. Oh! Ask and you shall receive. Do not thaw out. Is this Lum buried? Are you buried Lum or is that Citrus? Okay, that's Citrus. I was going to say, don't thaw out. <laughs> we like that. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. Now from here, now I just want to go into a waterfall here. And I might Terra, or I might swap into Shen Pao. Yeah, now's gonna be time to swap into Shen Pao, because I don't think he terrestrializes. I don't think he terrestrializes. So swapping into Shen Pao can make us be able to KO, unless he thaws out range powders. And then we can Ice Spinner into that Amoogus slide next turn. I don't think he terrestrializes, right? You're gonna withdraw Amoogus, it's fine. You're gonna go into here, so I could Circuit Punch whoever. Back into Flutz. The Flutz comes out here. No Terra, which is huge. And we're going to say bye-bye to Arcanine. So that's a big-time KO for us. It's a big-time KO. Yo, that was an even bigger freeze, yo. RNG, finally! Finally, it's on my side. We don't get that too much, yo. We don't get that. Maybe one every 50 videos, we get some good RNG. Right now, my RNG is hot. Say hot. Sleeps were going long. Freeze is popping out here. But they are rocking out with Pally Pally, and I feel like from here we might just want to go into a waterfall in this slot. And I kind of just want to sucker punch that, but I might just protect my Shen Pao this turn. I might just protect my Shen Pao. I'm just gonna protect Shen Pao here. So he's gonna end up terrestrializing in the who? Who are you terrestrializing? Flutter? Flutter. Flutter comes out for Terra. Straight fairy. Straight Farian. Okay, I can deal with that. I mean, Gyarados might go down here, but I think Gyarados should be able to get off a shot because there's, there's like, you gotta be double down. You gotta go for a like, jet punch in the gleam here, I feel like, right? So I go for the protect. There's the jet punch. Good protect from us. It's jet punch gleam. Like I said, I, I knew that was coming already. And my Gyarados outspeeds, which is enormous. Almost KOs. It's good to know that we outspeed him too. And <laughs> we get the flinch, yo. RNG! Stop it! It's enough out of you. It's enough out of you. Um, does Jet Punch go before Sucker Punch? I mean, it should, right? Yeah, we are faster, so, you know, I'm just gonna Sucker Punch. Get this off, and he's gonna withdraw you. So you're just gonna go back into... Uh, what Pokemon is this? You're Amoongus, which is fine. I mean, we're gonna chuck up a little bit of damage. It is still frozen. It's shiny, it's looking cool. Sucker Punch is going to deal a nice chunk of damage. Actually, I thought it would do a little bit more. Jet Punch is gonna come out here. And we're just gonna go from there. Waterfall's gonna fly. How much damage are we doing here? Definitely gotta go for the Ice Fang. Or do I D-dance here? I could D-dance here. <laughs> I could definitely D-dance. Hmm. I'm just gonna Ice Fang and maybe just protect this turn. I'm just gonna protect Shen Pao. I'm just gonna waste turns here. I'm just gonna keep chunking up damage onto his Pokemon while he comes after Shen Pao. You thaw it out. Lovely. You going for Rage Powder? That's fine. I'm just Ice Fanging you. I'm just ice fanging you. Hopefully you're going after Shen Pao here. Yep. Nice little block. We wasting turns. RNG's on our side, but we are playing really well. We are playing really well. Ice Fang chunking up some nice damage. We do outspeed you, so from here I could... Ooh. I gotta art swap you. If you're going for jet punches... Hmm. I need Shen Pao. I need Shen Pao here for this ice fang to KO. So I might just... Hmm. I guess I'll suck a punch. I guess I'll Sucker Punch, get off as much damage as I can, and our opponent just cancels battle. 
I, I'll take it all day. 2-0. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. Stay hot, jeans. Stay hot. We are absolutely ripping so far. Arm she's on our side. We're playing good at the same time. We guaranteed ourselves a winning record already. Third and final match. Let's go for that perfect record. Going up against another Ting Lu team with Dragonite. Okay, so Dragonite without Shen Pao. Probably relying on my Shen Pao to actually get him going. But we're going to have to watch out for that because I still want Shen Pao in this battle. They also have Arcanine. They have Defiant Annihilate, which could be a problem because I really want to bring Gyarados. And then they have Amoongus. I mean, Gyarados does work on who a lot of these Pokemon, so I might lead Gyarados. Do we think he's going to lead Annihilate? Potentially, right? So I might just go Chiyu at this point. I might just go in with both of these and then bring Lucario Shen Pao again. I like it. I like it. Just same team, different order here. I can definitely get down with this. I can definitely get down. They have no Intimidate Pokemon. Actually, they do. Arcanine. Maybe I should have thought about that and brought Lucario, but eh, I like Chiyu here. She doesn't get affected by the Intimidates. I could D-Dance potentially, but still, I should be able to do some nice damage even if I'm on Intimidate minus one. And now we opposite just lead these two. Okay, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So the thing is here, a lot of Annihilate Terror types is fire. So I'm thinking of just Dark Pulsing. And on top of that, Waterfall, right? I just boost his attack plus one too. So I'm thinking of just like double down into it, right? Waterfall this slot and I could Terra here in case she wants to go for the uh, punchies on me because the punchies could be a problem Do I Terra? I think I am going to Terra and just Dark Pulse into this thing. Maybe go for a flinch or something like that. I'm down for it I can get down for using my Terra right now He might Terrasize. He might. I'm kind of hoping he does in the fire. A lot of them are fire I mean I've seen a few that are water, but I would be grass that could work for next turn but the one thing we're hoping is our opponent is not protecting this Annihilate. And now he's going to protect the Annihilate, right? No, he's just going to Gambit me. Wow. Okay, never mind. Gambo coming out here. That kind of hurts. I mean, that, that's actually better for me. I'd rather lose my Gyarados than deal with that Annihilate. So, I'll take that all day. That Annihilate was plus one. Seemed like a problem. So, we have to just go in there. We're going for Dark Pulse. Chunking up a little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy. And a Ruination is going to miss. RNG, thank you. I... I... I love it. I love it. Aren't you going crazy right now? But now I got my fishy grass type. He's going to bring out Grumpy. Or she's going to bring out Grumpy. And this is Grumpy. Hi, Grumpy. How you doing, Grumps? Grumps comes out here. And Ting Lu's kind of just like messing up everything. So there's a rune coming out here. The defense is down. Booster energy is out. And that's going to boost speed, correct? Speed was heightened. Okay, I feel you. I feel like from here, we should Sucker Punch, chunk up as much damage as we can, and then just go for a Terra Blast. A little bit of Terra Blast. He is going to opt to protect the Floods. The Floods gets protection. We go for a Sucker Punch. It fails. And Terra Blast. How much damage are you doing, Terra Blast? Not crazy. This thing's probably vested, too. Let's see. I like that damage. So that's enough for, I think, the next one to KO. Never mind. They had a berry stored in their pocket. Awesome, just what I wanted. <laughs> so Barry restores some HP. Stop the catch is gonna come out here. It's gonna do a nice little damage to me. And from here, uh yeah, I'm gonna suck a punch, get off as much damage as I can there. And you know what? I'm just gonna dark pull, so I'm gonna double down in the flutter main slot. I'm doubling down in the flutter main slot, and that might be fairy. That might be fairy. No please, no fairy. No please. Oh man, oh man! <laughs> Doing me so dirty, so wrong here. So wrong here. I'm gonna do like no damage. That's actually a lot of damage. <laughs> that was actually a lot of damage. A little bit too much damage. So I do have Lucario in the back end, which is really, really good. Ruination might come out here, but I have Lucario, which I really, really like. Dark Pulse gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? Nothing crazy. The Ruination comes out. A little bit of a problem. I'm scared of stopping tantrum too. But I got Lucario with bull punch. And you know what? I'm gonna make the hard read that uh I'm gonna make the hard read that you protect. So I could bull punch and do damage to that. But I think we're just gonna vacuum wave and we're just gonna terror blast and take out you. But I think Fluttermane protects here. So I need I need to make something happen. In order for me to win this match. So I'm going to double down into Ting Lu. I'm going to say Fluttermane protects. And then we can take it out next turn. And kind of go from there. You protect. What are you protecting for? 
What are you protecting for? There's no way you read that. What are you protecting for? It makes no sense. I guess, okay, Parasong, I guess that makes sense a little bit. But that made no sense. Parasong me, how dare you? Not cool. I might double down again. I think I'm gonna do that. They're just perishing me. This could be terrible. This could be bad. We, we need to win this one quick. But yeah, I'm gonna double down on Ting Liu. Smart play would just be swap Ting Liu, right? Yeah. I just play and probably protect the Flutter Mane, so he's just wasting our turns here. Smart, smart play. Amoongus. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There's a protect on Flutter Mane. I'm gonna take out Flutter Mane next turn. I'm gonna Heat Wave the Amoongus slot. That can be doing like no damage. Terra Blast really isn't gonna do much. I was so confused. Parasong makes sense with the protect. Two turns left, okay. Amoongus might protect, but we're gonna heat wave this slot. We're gonna bull punch this slot down. I'm also gonna terror blast this slot just in case it's a swap. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, they swap and we don't get a KO, we pretty much lose this match. I think we lose this match regardless, right? Actually, can you win on a Parasong? Actually, they won't have Parasong. Only my Pokemon will. Yeah, that's a real that's a real smart play. I don't think Terra Blast can KO. I'm hoping it can. I am really hoping, but he's going to put my Lucario to sleep. We do KO, but that's game. They just protect next turn. That hurts, man. My soul. Spore me. Yeah. What a play by our opponent. Parasong comes out at the end. That was really, really solid from us. From him. Cause I seriously thought we had a shot at winning this match with these Pokemon. Especially with what they had left. They had Parasong one turn. Fluttermage should come back out, out here. Drop a nice little protect, double protect. That is game set match. What a play. I like that. I really did like that. That was a really good play. But yeah, we would have won this match if Parasong wasn't here. We had a really good matchup. But our opponent made a great play. We went 2-1 for today's video. Got to showcase Lucario really well for Series 3. Absolutely loved using Lucario on the rank ladder today. Had a ton of fun with it, and it's just so fun to use Pokemon that you don't get to use too much and actually win with them on the rank ladder. So, Lucario, I give you an A+. You were absolutely amazing, especially paired up with Shen Pao. You can do some big damage and just all around amazing. You got the HP bulkiness, you have big time attack. Considering all your moves are first turn priority, you don't need any EVs and speed. So, I, again, really like Lucario in today's video. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody